hello guys so this is the continuation of interface in java now what happened is we learnt all the basic concepts of interface now we need to know uh, in java 8 why uh, we have default method in interface okay why they have given us the facility where we can create the default methods in the interface with java 8 and wh what is what was the requirement what was the need to create the default method in interface so what happens let's say i have created an interface called vehicle one it has three unimplemented method get brand speed up and slow down three methods right because you know that these methods are common across all the vehicle no matter you go for uh, two wheeler four wheeler or again in the four wheeler you go for different uh, uh, brand of cars it has these three methods like get brand speed up and slow down now what happened you have a project which is already designed which is already running now there are two methods came and uh, which is again common across and you don't want to disturb your design so if you add your unimplemented method across your project you have to go and modify each and every class okay you have to go and modify each and every class because your all class has to write the implementations for all the unimplemented method in the interface now you don't want that so in java 8 what the thought let's make a default method you can see that before method i'm writing a default keyword so when you make a default uh, method you can write the implementations in the interface itself you can see that i'm writing a default the return type of the method is a string and turn alarm on which will return the string because we have a string return type again the default alarm off which will do a off now I'll tell you the real, uh, I mean, I'll tell you the what I'm trying to say that. So let's say it's a vehicle one. I'll make one concrete class, which is, let's say, uh, let's say you just make, I think I have written already, I have uh, written a car. So you make car one. Okay. Assume that car one class you have this guy is already implementing you know a uh, vehicle one this guy is implementing this interface so this guy has already the implementations of three methods which we have actually designed okay already it, it has get brand speed up and slow down now what happened is these two method later we added okay assume that your okay let me make some other class also so that you know you can correlate better so you uh, make one other concrete class and here you uh, write saying that in car you know, what we can do that is we can uh, write let's say you write bike okay now what happened here is now this guy again implements same vehicle one okay so this guy also had the implementations of these three methods similarly you had 20 class and every class had the implementations of interface now later point of time you got a requirement and you don't want to write you don't want to write unimplemented method here because that is default across all the vehicle okay term alarm on and term alarm off okay so if let's say if i will go here and if i will write the you know unimplemented method and i will just make the return type as a void or let's say i'll make the return type as an integer and let's say i'll make as a one okay i cannot keep same method name now you know what will happen if you'll add any unimplemented method everywhere you'll start getting a compile time error that i don't want because my project is running i don't want to disturb my existing class which was implementing the interface i don't want to do that see the moment you add unimplemented method this all class has to implement so you remove this and to overcome that you just go for default method just use the word default here also use the word default and the benefit is every class when you make the object write a main method 
so when you make the main method and when you make the object of the class you can use the functionality okay without writing the implementations that is the benefit uh, i can use the functionality called turn alarm off as well as i can use the functionality of the other default method okay on on the top of that i had already written the implementations of get speed and all that get brands okay so whatever i will set the brand i can get the brand this is the benefit of default methods in interface which was introduced in java 8 okay and the the, the basic purpose was let's do not dis disturb the implementations what we have already uh, instead of disturbing all the class implementations you just go and add the method in the interface by writing default keyword and that will work out so if you look at here even the default method by default access uh, the public okay methods are implicitly public there is you know you don't need to write any specific access type here by default public like other methods okay but here unlike regular interface methods they are declared with the default keyword here you have to write default keyword at the beginning of method signature and they provided an implementations and you you can write the implementations you can write 10 10 line of impl implementations here nothing will happen okay you can write int a is equal to 90 you can write int b is equal to you can write 100 and you can write int c is equal to a plus b i mean any logic you can write that's what i'm trying to explain you okay you can write the logic and this was the need of default method in interface in java which was introduced in java 1.8 and this is very important interview questions people will ask you like is it possible to create implemented method in the interface say that yes it is possible but the method should be default method without default method we cannot create method inside the interface right so we have some more concepts which i will cover in the next video thank you guys thank you for watching this